There are many problem-solving strategies that children use in mathematics. Representation is often used to help children comprehend mathematical concepts. Using manipulatives reduces the amount of sensory input and working information by putting the thinking into a concrete form. Fraction circles are a great way of helping children understand fractional concepts as many students often struggle. Fractions make up a significant portion of the Ontario math curriculum and it is built in that students are able to represent, draw, solve, and compare fractions. Fraction circles allow children to do this. Children are able to compare and order fractions, see equivalent fractions, explore common denominators, and explore basic operations. Children are able to understand relationships between fractions in multiple ways. Circular fraction pieces like the ones here emphasize the part-whole concept of fractions and the meaning of the relative size of a part to the whole. There are many ways that you can use fraction circles, which I'll demonstrate. One way that fraction circles can be used is for ordering fractions. Here we will take one-tenth, one-fourth, one-third, and one-sixth. You can ask students to order them from least to greatest based off of their relative sizes to one another. That way, we can see that the smallest is one-tenth, then one-sixth, one-fourth, and then one-third. We can also add fractions using the circles. For example, if we take two-fourths and four-eighths, and we try adding them together, we see that we make one whole circle. We can then check and verify that using the whole circle piece. This also helps students to understand equivalent fractions, seeing that 2 fourths is equivalent to 4 eighths. As well, we can use fraction circles to help solve world problems, which can be hard for children to conceptualize using just numbers alone. Take the question, Tom, Julie, and Bill ordered one large cheese pizza. Tom ate one-fourth of the pizza, while Julie ate three-eighths of the pizza, and Bill ate the remaining amount. How much of the pizza did Bill eat? Children are able to use the fraction circles to create the pizza. Therefore, we have one-fourth for Tom, we take three-eighths for Julie, and we put those together. building what we have. Then they're able to explore which fractions fit to complete the whole to solve the answer for Bill. For example, they can use any of the ones that they think fit, such as two-fifths. This provides as a great manipulative that is easy to use but also can be fun for children to play with. In a research study done by Viterbo University, on the use of manipulatives in teaching fractions, the conclusion found that children's attitude had drastically changed towards fractions after using manipulatives such as fraction circles. The manipulatives allowed the children to be involved with their learning as they could play and see what they were actually doing, which made the task more enjoyable and learning tangible. As an educator, we want to provide our students with the tools that they need to succeed. Understanding that children learn differently and require different tools to do so is important. Writing out fractions and trying to solve problems with numbers, a pencil and paper, can seem very abstract to a child. A visual representation, such as a fraction circle, brings the question and concept to life and adds a tool to our students' math toolkit. You can purchase fraction circles online or they are easy to make as well. You can find ones that have the fraction on them or plastic and wood fraction circles. For mine, I chose not to write the fractions on them so that children must figure it out for themselves. For differentiation, you could introduce fraction circles that indicate what the fraction is. I found a principle which I then colored, laminated, and cut, making for easy use and easy to clean as well. 
I hope you enjoyed watching and learning about math manipulatives. Thank you.